Hello everyone right here and today I'm doing a video based on a video that I saw on Dimension Scott's channel. Basically he did a video where he did the top 10 movies that he likes that everyone else seems to hate. And I thought that that was a pretty cool idea and I wanted to do my own video and he gave me the green light to do it. And also I think it'd be pretty cool if other people did this video as well. So if you want to join, please make your video. I would be very interested in seeing what you like that everyone else seems to hate. Now Dimension Scott had a few honorable mentions on his video and I do as well. The reasons why that I say these are honorable mentions is because I don't believe like the vast majority hate this movie but the, these movies do seem to get a lot of negative attention and I thoroughly enjoy them. The first honorable mention would be Watchmen. Uh, this movie actually gets hated on quite a bit, and I really don't understand why. I thoroughly enjoy this movie. I've read the comic. It's pretty accurate to the comic, especially the extended edition of this movie. I really like Watchmen, and I don't really understand all the negative reviews that this movie does get, because like I said, it's almost exactly the same thing as the comic. It's really not different at all. Another one is Power Rangers. Um... I really, really, really enjoyed this movie, and I'm somebody who actually does like the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and I thought this movie was fantastic, and it was very faithful to the original source material, while also being its own unique thing. Yeah, um, this movie got shit on so bad that the sequels got cancelled and everything, and that's unfortunate, because I would have loved to have seen this movie continue, but yeah, Power Rangers, I really did like this. Eon Flux. I don't hate this movie. I don't love it, but I don't hate it, and I don't really understand all the negativity this movie gets. This movie is weird, yes, very weird, but if you are familiar with the Eon Flux cartoon series, the cartoon series was just as weird and just as absurd, so this was really not all that different from what I remember from the cartoon. And I, I thought it was alright for what it is. Don't understand the absolute hate this movie gets. Now, I don't think this movie gets hated on a whole lot, but a lot of people do hate it. I hate this series, but I really enjoyed this movie. And that is the first Resident Evil. As a zombie movie, this movie is pretty entertaining. I do like it. I don't hate it. This this is a very, very good zombie movie. Is it Resident Evil? No. Is Do I like the series? No. But, you know, I do love this movie. And, yeah, it's an honorable mention because I don't think a whole lot of people hate this movie. It, it's mostly just negative reviews because it's nothing like the video games. Okay, that's it for the honorable mentions, and now into my top ten. Number ten being Ender's Game. So many people hate this movie, and... I, I guess I kind of understand why. It's a very long movie, it's not very exciting, and it's really just about a boy in boot camp. That's basically all the movie is. And I heard that from people who have read the book, I've never read the book, but I heard from people who read the book that this movie wasn't good, that the book was better, and maybe so, but I've never read the book. I thoroughly enjoyed Ender's Game. Long movie, yes, but it was very intriguing, and I was interested, and the ending twist was kind of shocking for me. So yeah, I enjoyed Ender's Game for what it is. This next movie, I truly cannot understand the hate for. I absolutely love and adore this movie, but everyone seems to hate it, and I don't understand why, and that is Legend of the Guardians, The Owls of Gahul. This movie is an epic fantasy. This movie is amazing. But th nobody went to see this in theaters. Nobody went to see it in theaters. Everybody trash-talked it. It didn't get its sequel, which I was really excited for the sequel. Didn't get the sequel. And everybody who read the book hated this movie, saying that the books were superior and that this movie missed the whole point of the books. Now, I've never read the books, so I can't give my opinion on the books, but I have seen the movie, and the movie is freaking epic. And also, the author of the book really loved this movie. This movie got the approval of the author of the book. The author even stated that this movie did a, did a lot of things better than she did in her books. So, I, I don't understand. Legend of the Guardians. If you have not seen it, you have to watch Legend of the Guardians. This movie is epic. Now, I know this movie has a cult following, so it's not exactly all that hated, but 
a lot of people don't like it, and that's Mortal Kombat, the first Mortal Kombat movie. I thoroughly enjoyed this for what it is. I don't hate it. I mean, is it stupid? Yes. Is it silly? Yes. In some parts it is. Raiden is a character. <laughs> but, you know, for what it is, I, I really do enjoy this movie. I, I don't hate it. Now, this is a movie that got shit on a lot when it came out. Don't understand why, because I love it. And that is Lost in Space. Yeah, it's nothing like the series it's based on, sure. But this movie is a bit more of like a serious take of the story where stakes are higher, their lives are actually in danger. There's giant man-eating spiders in this movie, which was not in the series. Um, I thought that this was an interesting take on the Lost in Space series. And yeah, I mean, I always liked this movie, Lost in Space. Okay, this movie I do understand the hate for. And I do agree. This movie is shit. But when I first watched it, I was just like, eh, yeah, it's okay. And that is Season of the Witch. <laughs> this movie's got awful. I know that. But, hey, I don't hate it. it. It's fine for what it is. It's not great. It's not Nicolas Cage's best performance. But, hell, it's alright for what it is, I guess. They're just transporting a witch to a church. That's it. This movie also gets a lot of hate. And I understand, because this movie is bad, very bad, but it's a guilty pleasure of mine, and I absolutely love it, and that is Dungeons & Dragons, the first Dungeons & Dragons, the second one is shit, but the first one, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. I thoroughly enjoy the fantasy movie, I don't think it's terrible, the characters are likable enough to keep the movie interesting. Uh... Yeah, I don't really have too much to say about Dungeons & Dragons. It's a very poorly made movie. CGI is terrible. But the acting's alright, the characters are alright, the fantasy setting's alright, and I thoroughly enjoyed it for what it is. Okay, number four I think is cheating a little bit because it's three movies, but the Star Wars prequels? I don't necessarily hate the Star Wars prequels. I think they're okay. Especially when compared to Disney Star Wars, these movies are not bad. Not at all. I mean, Attack of the Clones is truly the weakest of this trilogy, but I didn't hate Attack of the Clones. Uh, it brought in Jango Fett, Zam Wazel, and it introduced Boba Fett. And I absolutely love the bounty hunters, and I love Jango and Zam's story. Um, if you don't know who Zam is, she's the Claudite shapeshifter bounty hunter that died pretty early in the movie. But yeah, she actually has a whole history with Jango Fett. And I love their history. I love those two characters. And when they were brought into this movie, I was like, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, the Star Wars prequels, I don't hate them. I don't love them, but I don't hate them. Actually, not true, because I really do like... Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith is a good Star Wars movie, in my opinion. Number three is Godzilla, the 1998 Godzilla. I understand why people don't like this movie. The creature is not Godzilla. Completely understand that. I even respect that. But as a monster movie, this is a solid monster movie. I, I really do like this monster movie. And I like the monster of Godzilla. Well, they they renamed it to Zilla, but I do love the Zilla monster. I love the design of it. I love how it's more dinosaur-like, and it's a giant radiated sea iguana. I mean, it's a really cool monster design. I don't hate the monster. I don't hate the characters. This movie is interesting enough to keep my attention. It's a good monster movie. Not a Godzilla movie, but it's a good monster movie. Number two is Aladdin. Now, this is a little weird as a pick, too, because I don't think a whole lot of people hate this movie, but this movie does get a lot of hate. And, I mean, I understand why. This movie's nothing fantastic. I don't love this movie, but I like it, and I enjoy it for what it is. I mean, yeah, Will Smith is not the genie, but then on the other hand, 
he wasn't trying to be the genie from the cartoon. He was trying to make the genie his own character. Uh, I, I didn't mind the acting in this movie. It was different enough from the original to be its to be unique and be its own thing. I, I didn't really care for the the all new song that Jasmine sang. I didn't like that song at all. And there were a lot of issues with this movie, but overall, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Out of, like, all the Disney remakes, this is probably my second favorite next to The Jungle Book. And number one is Child's Play. Yeah, I actually did like this movie. I, I, I mean, I guess I understand the hate, but I like the new take this movie took. Instead of it being a possessed doll, it's an AI that's constantly learning and it learns to become evil and just starts killing people. And I honestly thought that that was a pretty unique take to the character. And overall, I like, I liked the kills. The characters were okay for what they were. I do prefer the characters in the original Child's Play more, but overall, I thought this movie was okay. It's not great. It's all right. But yeah, I think it gets hated on too much. I mean, for a, I guess you can call it a remake, but it's more of a reimagining because it's not exactly the same concept of Child's Play, but it is. But yeah, I like the whole take of Chucky being an AI instead of a possessed doll of a serial killer. All right, everyone. So that's my top 10 list of movies that I enjoyed that everyone else seems to hate. What did you think of my list? Comment below. Let me know. And also, yeah, go ahead. Make your own list. Let's let's see what everyone's guilty pleasures are and what people like that isn't mainstream. All right, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there. Take care.